Good morning, everyone. Um, it is a Tuesday morning. We have no plans today, but I thought we would just, you know, pop in and do a vlog. It's been a little while. It is the 13th of August, which means this little baby is five months old today. So, um, Jackson's over here hanging out on the couch watching Life Noggin on YouTube. Um, yeah, so we have no plans, but I do maybe want to go to my parents just to get out of the house and, you know, do something fun for the kids. So um, we'll probably do that. <laughs> so we're gonna... Uh, could you just literally just catch that on camera? Catch what? Me doing the thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so we're about to head to my parents' house. I gotta wake baby up for, I still call him baby. <laughs> gotta wake, uh, baby up from a nap. He's been sleeping for two hours and that's like the cutoff. That's as long as I let him nap. Um, the next couple of naps in the day won't be that long, but usually the first morning nap I let him, you know, have a nice good long nap. But I, um, oops, looking back at pictures of when I used to do winged eyeliner, and I liked it, so I did it today, but I didn't have any liquid liner. I just had like a cold pencil, so um, I'm gonna have to get a liquid liner and start doing that again because I always liked it. You wanna say something? I've been laying down with him in the bed, so don't worry, he hasn't been in here by himself, unattended to, unsupervised. And you can wake him up. Preston's up from his nap. Stretch. Oh, it's stretching. Hi, Preston. Hey, we're all packed up and ready to go. Gotta get buckled. I bring our lunch to Grandma Wendy's. I packed our own lunch. I, I never know what grandma has, especially for Jackson. So I packed Jackson these hot dogs and then I have leftover pasta from the other night. Um, actually just last night. And I have been filming a video of what I eat in a week while breastfeeding. So that um, will be coming eventually, you know, but the pasta and the sauce I used um, are not in that video, but they are in my Aldi haul that I just posted on Instagram stories, my 2019 Aldi haul. So I have those noodles and the sauce, and then this is just like zucchini, mushrooms, and onions because that was just the veggies I had on hand. We love it out at Grandma and Grandpa's house. <laughs> it's about 10 miles outside of town, um, wooded on that side, and then corn on three other sides and it's just beautiful out here. She's got a flourishing herb garden over there and I'm gonna take you, oh look, there's my husband. He must have tracked where I was. <laughs> That's so funny. He um, is working on a bridge down here. Um, he's a, I don't know if you wanna call him a supervisor or something, but there's a bridge right out by my parents' house and they are working on it right now, so he must have saw that I was here and wanted to come see us. Out here? No, I had no idea. Why are you filming me? Because we're vlogging today. You were just stopping to see my mom or something? No, the bridge project. And then saw me with yeah, the camera out here? Yeah, I saw my wife here? standing out in the yard, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to stop by and see her. That's funny. Well, that was a fun surprise. I mean, 
small town life, you know. Um, so I'll take you down to, they call it the South Lawn. So I'll take you down to the South Lawn. It is really gorgeous. She's got the white picket fence, you know, and these big, beautiful trees. It's so pretty back in here. I want to take fall family photos out in here with all these trees. I think that'd be really pretty. She didn't do her garden this year, so that's just, she's giving it a break. She said you have to like let it rest every few years or whatever, but she did do grapes and they are starting to turn. I love fresh vine grapes. There is nothing like them. They are nothing like store-bought grapes. They taste totally different. The texture is totally different. I won't eat the store-bought grapes because I've been so spoiled. What? <laughs> no way. Just sitting on the front porch in our little swing. The room, the room right behind me, um, used to be my room when I lived at home. I'll give you a look at it in a little bit. Um, this was my room. My hair's a mess because of the wind. This was my room when I lived with my parents. I'm standing this way because anytime the window gets in there, everything darkens unless something is like in forward frame. So it has these pretty French doors. Um, it's their library now, so. So this used to be my room. There they are. We got one of these little swings for our backyard to hang from a tree here. So we're working on that. Derek got frustrated and just left it. <laughs> I've got a little zucchini I've been keeping an eye on. I think he'll be ready in a few days. Jackson and I are building Legos while Preston takes a nap. I just pulled out some Simply Nature sea salt popcorn um, from Aldi. And we're going to have a snack and I'm going to clean the living room a little bit. A little better um, I got rid of our little makeshift table over there because I want to get a different um, little buffet table if you follow Shara from live your style I want to get something similar to um, what she has in her bedroom and do the dresser with the collage wall similar to what she has so a cleaner living room. I have some dressers picked out on Target and Derek is just gonna build me one. Um, last year for Christmas he built my bed. The year before that he built Jackson's big um, cherry bookshelf and this year he's gonna build my dresser so I think we're gonna kind of make that a tradition where every year he builds us 
something. Oh, and the year before that, it was our dining table and coffee table. So, um, yeah, I think that'd be a nice tradition. Every year, you know, Derek makes the family a nice little like heirloom. That shirt is way too small on him, by the way. Speaking of shirts, Preston has like no clothes. Um, I just ordered him a box off of Kids on 45th. I'm so excited for it. If you haven't heard of it, not sponsored in any way, they have no idea who I am. But if you haven't heard of it, it's like Stitch Fix, but for kids, except they use thrifted clothes, which is awesome because I'm trying to be more conscious of, you know, the environment and all of it. So that's why we're cloth diapering. Um, we have not bought bottled waters or paper plates in about six months and we're not perfect obviously but there was a quote by somebody that says we don't need a handful of people doing it perfectly we need a million people doing it imperfectly so we're trying to do what we can how we can and buying secondhand clothes is something that we can do so maybe i'll do an unboxing with that i think it'd be really fun yeah i can see it Jackson's rainbow? making rainbows. Yep. The popcorn wasn't satiating enough, so chips and cheese sticks. I need to figure out what we're having for supper, but first I want to share a frosting recipe. It's a faux Swiss meringue or Italian meringue buttercream. So what you do is you do softened butter and powdered sugar in your mixer and like cream it like regular American buttercream but instead of thinning it down with heavy cream you thin it down with whipped egg whites just like meringue buttercream uses egg whites so you just thin down your American buttercream with soft peak egg whites and it is just like silky and smooth and amazing. Derek got a new grill, so I think we will have cheeseburgers tonight. So I might prep this, I don't know. We just woke up from our evening cat nap to help us make it till bedtime. It's 5 p.m. Derek just got home from a run, so he's stretching and gonna shower. And then he will take Preston while I cook supper. But we're just enjoying the evening. Jackson's still building his Legos. It's been like four hours. You like your bath, baby. You get all messy. We double stuff his diaper for nighttime, so it is super fluffy. Here's our diaper drawer. We don't worry about folding them or stuffing them ahead of time. We just stack them up because it's just fast and, you know, efficient, I suppose. Jackson is across the street at the neighbor's house at 7.30 at night. Baby is asleep now. <laughs> and uh, this is the aftermath of a long day. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take a shower and go to bed and do it all again tomorrow. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>